my opening statement would be, did anybody else besides me see uh, former player Dominic Fletcher take Darvish oppo taco today? That was pretty exciting. Uh, stuff like that is is awesome. Um, he had a great tournament and uh, so excited for him. But uh, other than that, I'm ready to take questions. Andrew Ellis, want to kick us off? And lead off. Wow. Yeah, Coach, uh, Auburn has some new faces in the lineup, but it seems like they've just become pretty consistent as a program and have guys that overachieve every year. I was just wondering what you make of the makeup of their lineup and their roster. Well, you know, I don't know if, if it's overachieving at all. I mean, they have really good players, have outstanding coaching staff. Uh, they do things the right way. Um, can't say enough good things about Butch Thompson, um, you know, they they kept some kids that uh, they thought might have signed uh, last summer that came back. I mean, their center fielder jumps out of me. He's probably the best defensive center fielder in the league, and he's hitting. Uh, you know, they, they're hitting for a team uh, as for, for an average as a team, and um, they have some power, but they've got, they've got a couple, three guys in the lineup that are just having great years right now. And on your side, you've got a lot of newcomers on your team and older guys, but guys that will be playing in their first real SEC weekend. Just what are you looking for out of guys like Wagner and Josenberger who will be getting their first exposure to this kind of competition, this type of atmosphere? Well, I think that they, they're they used to it. I mean, we we played in the tournament in Texas, and that, you know, that can simulate it about as good as you can get. You know, uh, you're playing some top teams from, from another league that, Omaha type teams. So I don't, I don't think it's too much different. Um, the games mean a little bit more, but as far as the approach or the mental, you know, the mental part of it, I, I think they're, they're both going to be fine. And, and even the other guys for the most part, they're, they, they get what we're getting into. Uh, we've been talking about it since last fall and uh, you know, you, you know, you've got to step it up and it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a 10 week grind and we try to prepare them for that. Tom. Hey, Dave, I was just watching Butch's uh, press thing from yesterday. And if I heard him right, Tommy Vale for Friday and then Crotchfelt, what do you know much about their pit? Vale has really good numbers, but what do you know about those guys? Well, you know, just we're watching as video as we can. Friday's pitcher, you know, his fastball stays it stays up. And got some carry uh, in baseball lingo. Um, so you got to try to get on top of it a little bit. And, uh, I mean, they're just they're just good pitchers, you know. Um, we know as much as we know, and that's what what we hear from talking to other coaches, and then and watching as much as we can, and and then reading the numbers, the data. I mean, we're still going over it right now. You know, it was a busy week for us playing uh, UNLV, and 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 not really not knowing who we were going to be able to throw and how long they would last, and you know, proud of the team, like I said yesterday, of getting through that and finding a way to win a couple of games. And now we're really, you know, we, we've been going on, looking into Auburn as best we can in the, in the past week, but really now today's the day that we hammer down. Gotcha. Hey, you indicated uh, Stovall and Cali and Holt would probably be in good shape for the weekend. Um, did, did Harold Cole um, make it so your starting lineup might be, you know, the, the third base might be difficult to, slot up for this weekend <laughs> yeah no he didn't make it difficult i mean i thought he played great so he's swinging the bat imagine i'll probably put him in there okay that's what i was getting at okay thanks yeah. Dudley. coach the uh, obviously pitching's a daily deal inning by inning but how much better do you feel say from the time going into to the last weekend series to, to you do today in terms of arms well i definitely feel better i, I think that some guys, you know, picked it up and showed us some things. You, you know, Dylan Carter continues to pitch well. And it was it was just really good to see Bybee throw the ball the way he did. And uh, I thought Coyle threw the ball well. It wasn't super consistent. It was maybe hitter to hitter, but, you know, it was good. And then Zach Morris is the one that, uh, you know, showed us something yesterday and, you know, probably not going to be available Friday, but I feel like, you know, maybe the next two games he would be available, but we'll see how he feels. And, uh, you know, it was just, 
I, yeah, I mean, we feel like we have a few more than maybe we did last week at this time. Uh, you know, like everybody, uh, battling some some injuries, some uh, some couple season endings. So those are, you know, it is what it is. You know, the other guys, you know, Tiger won't have him for the weekend, and uh, you know, but we got some other guys that have, have stepped up and done a pretty good job. So we're we're excited to see the progress some of our pitchers. And how do you feel about Hagen stepping up on Friday night? Well, Hagen's not starting Friday, so uh, that would be your storyline, I guess. Uh, we'll, we're going to start Hunter Holland, and then we'll go with McIntyre on Saturday, and we'll leave Sunday TBA. Andrew, anything else? I guess uh, could you just inform us on what exactly Wall went into that decision? I mean, obviously they're all three going to start still, but just what went into the the situation there? Well, just call it uh, one game at a time and injuries. So that's what we decided to do. All right. Nobody else? Is that a thing? Robert? I got one. Is, oh, is, is Hagen Smith hurt? No, he's better than ever. Okay. Yeah. You see him warming up in the bullpen on Tuesday. He's ready to come in. Okay. Cool. Well, um, um, well, I guess what you're saying, um, as for follow-ups, um, are, are you thinking about maybe he could be your closer, or what are you thinking about with Hagen? Wild card. Closer, long reliever, finisher, however you want to say it. You know, good pitcher in the bullpen. Uh, he's had a – his numbers are great. Uh, um, he knows how to do it. He just wants to help the team win in any role and appreciate that. and. You know, we when you have some things happening, you, you know, with 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 arms, sometimes you gotta you gotta make some changes, and you know, we just felt like that 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 might be something we needed to to, to do this weekend. Okay, got you there. And then, so how do you feel about Holland on a little bit shorter rest, and you know, uh, starting off the weekend for you? Well, if you go back to Sunday, you know, he he had he had twenty five at least more pitches in there, and we took him out at about seventy, and. uh you know, he 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 actually likes pitching on shorter rest. He's told us that many a time. So uh, I feel fine about it. Dudley? Well, first of all, I'm sure glad I asked that question. Uh, but when you say TBA on Sunday, who, who are some of the guys that, that are, have, have moved themselves in position to, to possibly start? Uh, well, with this staff right now, it's going to be, you know, match up and best available. I mean, if, if we haven't used Hagen – or we've just used him a little. I mean, that's a possibility. Um, I mean, we could we could use Dylan Carter. We could use Ledbetter. Uh, we could use Zach Morris. I mean, that's just to name a few. Thanks. Andrew, anything else? I think I'm good. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time. Okay. See you guys.